Hard Todd on the Money Man. We're so happy that the Money Man gives this platform to art from the canvas to the red carpet, all the art happenings in town in the magic city of Miami, Florida, USA. And in this room today, I always say it's sunny in Miami, but sunnier in our studio, we have the lovely Sonia Williamsberger. How are you? Thank you, Susanna. Thank you. I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I have to tell you, for those who don't know who Sonia Williamsberger is, not only 20 years ago, Miami picked her to come down here from Austria, Salzburg, Austria. She was part of a program of real estate, business development, and very big in Miami and the city of what's happened in the last decade, especially the last four years. Um, Art Days, Downtown Development Authority, hired Sonia to be part mm -hmm. of their business development. And more than anything, Sonia, I have seen something really phenomenal happening downtown. Mm -hmm. You're an expert in building relationships. Mm -hmm. And this year, more than ever, I've seen some great relationships come out of the Downtown Development Authority. Definitely the forefront there for the development and the sustainability and what's happening in the economy and the growth culturally, artistically of downtown. We know the whole Miami Beach was where all eyes were a decade ago. Mm -hmm. We know as of the last five years, all eyes started to be in Midtown, Wynwood Design District, and now the focus is getting back right where it all started, downtown. Right, and the urban core has grown in leaps and bounds, right? So we've seen the population double over the past 10 years, right? 24,000 condos coming online. So we've seen an influx of people and young professionals being in downtown. The Perez Art Museum opening, the, um, the Arch Center for the Performing Arts opening, many, many artists that have moved into downtown over the last two years. So yes, downtown has seriously become the urban center, the urban core of Miami-Dade County. And I have to really tip my hat to you because that's such a challenging area when you took it on yourself and your organization, Downtown Development Authority. There were places and areas, uh, you know, a decade ago, people would fear after four o'clock to even walk. Um, even as of three, four years ago, people still had this uh, feeling that, oh, taking the Metro Mover or taking a public transportation, you know, what are you going to see? You know, you had all the homeless. And I have seen a huge change. And of course, government and, and nonprofit and profit together, working together hand in hand, I think is a key in the changing of downtown. That is correct. And downtown certainly has changed. And it's not just because of the influx of people, right? So when you walk the streets of downtown today, there's, we have doubled the amount of restaurants that, that you can go to, that you can choose from. And, um, and you mentioned that the DBA did it. No, actually there were so many people involved to make downtown the place that it is today, the cultural, the business epicenter, right, that it is in Miami. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, I know that there's a, a many sums that equal the whole of the park, but since today is on the Downtown Development today Authority, downtown. we're putting you <laughs> forefront there, Sonia. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take all the credit for yeah. Thank you. Sonia, I'm Elicia Frischberg, and since this is a business radio and mm -hmm. also an art, business and art business actually and art. Are, sim are, are together. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what is in your plate right now in terms of business development what th that you're looking at? Well, actually, the, we are working with the finance sector quite a bit. You know, downtown Miami is, a, uh, you know, they call it the Wall Street of the South. It's um, the financial center, certainly, of the Southeast region. Um, and so we are working a lot with alternative firms, with hedge funds, mm -hmm. alternative investment firms. We are reaching out to those firms to come to Miami. Um, we've been to New York. We've been to Connecticut. We've been recently down to Brazil to just talk to companies that have been looking to locate into Miami. Wonderful. And... Um, um, Susanna? Well, I want to say that uh, besides the Downtown Development Authority, which the title says it all, it's, it's business, it's development, mm -hmm. it's real estate, it's marketing, it's sales, it's, it's you know, bringing attention to downtown through the financial sector. Through, but but mm -hmm. one of the things that makes a great city, it's its cultural component. Absolutely. And so with that said, we know when September comes, you know, you know, your kids go back to school at the end of August, early September. And you know when Art Days, uh, the event comes out for a three-day nonstop, over 200 activations, over 60 organizations, artists, 
all kinds of industry partners. Everything is lit up downtown. There are giants in the skies. Mm -hmm. There are artists with, with spray paint cans, with pallets and paints and tour buses and people on bikes and families and just one party after another all about art. And we're going to come right, well, we're going to not come right back. We're going to actually ask you, Art Days, when is the formal date that it begins? Sonia. Okay. Um, well, Art Days really starts Friday, September 19th, and then Saturday and Sunday. So it's a three-day weekend event where you will find over, like you mentioned, over 200 activations all around downtown. And it has grown, you know, together with the art and culture organizations that have come into downtown Miami, with the amount of artists that have come into Miami. That's where we are seeing all these exhibitions, walking tours, temporary contemporary art installations, the fringe, um, bike, bike tours. You can even experience culture and history on bikes this year um, with the Front Yard Theater. So there's much to do. Um, many great partners, the Perez Art Museum, Freedom Tower, you know, so many. It's, it's very hard to name them all. But, well, um, I, can, I, I can help you there. We oh, got the you. National <laughs> Young Arts Foundation, Nina Torres Fine Arts, Centro Cultural Español. You have the Adrian Arts Center, Miami Children's Museum. You have Museum Park Metro Mover Station, Perez Art Museum. You have the Downtown Art House at the Miami World Center, Primary Projects, Freedom Tower, Artisan Lounge. You have also Stephen Clark. Uh, Government Center also having some activations, History of Miami. Mm -hmm. You have Art Days Hub at the Miami Center of Architecture and Design, which is something new this year, so we actually have a hub. Yeah. Uh, Olympia Theater, that's something new too, working with you with uh, public arts and public oh, performances, yes, right? Yes, actually giving us behind the scenes tours of the theater as well as um, movie screenings in Better and Bates, the Olympia, yes. Well, I want to tell, before we go to commercial break, I want to tell you that thank you for having letting me have the best Monday morning sales meeting. Every Monday, the Art Experience gets together with the staff to talk about the goals for the week. Well, what we did for a good hour was do our itinerary for the launching and the opening of Art Days on Friday. And so I welcome anybody to go to the artexperiences.com or call us at 305-767-5000 if you want to join us on our gallery shuttle tour of downtown art days we're starting at one o'clock at the invader at the olympia and we're going to continue to tell you more about this tour i'm Susanna baker on art talk at the money mayor i'm alicia freshberg and sonia roman we'll be right back Okay, so we're back on Art Talk with Susanna Baker on The Money Man, where Danielle Frischberg and Alicia Frischberg uh, empower this conversation once a week, and we're so proud of that platform. Uh, thanks again to The Money Man. With us is the lovely guest, Sonia Brogensberger, and she is from the Downtown Development Authority. She is the business development. She is the real estate. She is gorgeous, too, besides all the brains. And, and she, she handles the marketing, and yeah. it's doing really a fabulous job. Yeah, absolutely. You. you could see that a lot of our newspaper, uh, the front pages of our newspaper, you could see more and more conversation on downtown. Uh, the, you know, all eyes were on us. Uh, internationally, the Perez Art Miami Museum opened up in December of 2013, and one year later, here we are, a couple of months away from Art Basel and from all the great art formal activation fairs that happen, but we know it's around the corner when Art Days and you open up your Miami Herald or your New Times and you get this wonderful flyer of, uh, it's an insert of six, eight pages of just all these fabulous art activations, over 200. Sonia, tell me, last year when you were on Art Talk, you, we were, it was your second year right. and we were uh, so excited. Now it's the third year, it's the annual third year event of Art Talks from Friday, this Friday the 19th through Sunday the 21st. Now, what are some of the special things that are happening in 2014 that did not happen in 2013? I hear something about a mobile app. Yes, so I mean, just take a step back of what you just said, 200 events can be quite overwhelming to navigate, right? So this year we decided to put it together into an app. 
And this app is actually can be found online. It's um, web based and it can be found at win downtownarts.com. It's spelled win twin d w n t w n arts.com. And to make the events more navigable, we actually um, separated them into tracks. Okay, so you can choose the events that you would like to go to by theme, by topic, whether you are interested in exhibitions, in tours, in talks, into more of the evening activities or film screenings. This app will allow you to customize your own itinerary to, to your own likings and, and put a schedule together and discover downtown that way. And I understand you did that during your team meeting. Yeah, I'm, I have to tell you that we did that on, mon on Monday. I have a staff meeting and we call in marketing, sales, the tour raters, which are our tour guides and curators. And so we knew our days was coming and it's a great way for industry partners like myself to educate myself on what's happening around, you know, t at the Arch Center, or what's mm -hmm. happening at the Olympia Theater, or what's happening at the Miami Children's Museum. You know, we're always working all week long, all year long. We're focusing on our art, on our own installations and activations. So it's nice to sort of say, you know what, guys? We're going to make a field trip. The company's going to do a field outing, and I suggest this to many many corporations whether you're into art or you're not into art it is a company morale outing and more people should take advantage this is a great way for a supervisor manager a director of a company to do a nice extended lunch and go out for two three hours check out your your own backyard you know people are always so working 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 they don't take time it's a great way of recharging company morale your spirit and seeing the culture that's out there let's face it i have to tell you sonia on my art tours many people come from all over the world to do the art tours and many locals take the art tour mm -hmm. and we, <clears throat> we actually have a lot of locals and the reason is they want to be educated and knowing what's going on. So when all this family comes in during the winter, they already know where to take them in Wynwood, where to take them downtown, where, where to what to talk about the history. So we're very popular with re repeat performances from our own locals because they want to be refreshed with what, what's happening in 2014. So Downtown Art Days helps me in my business to tell my people and to show them, hey, we're not the only ones out there fighting for our cultural experience and delivering it. There are many more industry partners that are doing just the same, harder work, more money, more time, more hours. Let's go see what their narrative is. And yeah. So, yeah. yeah, for you folks listening out there all over the world, so we are preparing for you to come in. We actually have Sonia here who really puts out all this event to make you feel local. So let's start with this movie movie buff where I'm interested in. What is this? <laughs> well, movie buff is basically we, we, we took a look at what is being what is being done for people that are interested in watching a movie, right? So there's Christopher Carter, a, a Miami-based artist, renowned artist, who is putting up a uh, continuous screening of short films at his studio this weekend. The Gusman, the Olympia Theater, is putting on uh, Invader Invades the Olympia about the artist Invader. The Miami International Film Festival is doing screenings at the Freedom Tower opening on Friday night. So there is something, if you're interested just in that aspect, for you to go to. Mm -hmm. right? So that, that was the intent behind it. Especially that. for out there listening, coming, planning to come to Miami. The art experience is loaded with educated, sophisticated tours. Mm -hmm. So go to the website. What's your website? Theartexperiences.com. But we want to learn also about if someone wanted to know about all these fabulous mm -hmm. events, what is your website, <coughs> Sonia? The website to go to um, is dwntwn, so downtown without the O's, dwntwn, arts.com. And that is, that is where you can find all the different tracks, all the different events, um, information on the venues and timing. Can we course. Facebook it as well? Absolutely. It's on Facebook. Um, Downtown Arts is on Facebook. And that's fully spelled out, Downtown and Arts. D-W-N-T-W-N. Oh, D-W-N-T-W-N. Okay, that's awesome. Now, I have to tell you, I like happy hours too. Mm -hmm. So I actually did my itinerary and I said about a gallery shuttle, but our gallery shuttle is 
Choo Choo by Foot. We are doing, we're using the Miami Trolley, which is totally free. We're using the Metro Mover, which is free. We had no reason to get into a car for at all because everything is right there every station every trolley every metro mover will take us from the pam right down to the architectural historical center the hub which is a new hub you actually form an alliance with um, olympia theater is doing the tours but also giving you public performance arts and you got the smartphone app and you're increasing family friendly programs you're doing a lot more programs this year starting with Giants in the Park and so on. So we're super excited with this third annual Art Days. Mm -hmm. Alicia, did you have a question about the movie or the bike? There's a bike uh, there's, tour. There's a bike tour. And also, you specifically said you encourage the community to use uh, public, trolley, transportation. public transportation. Absolutely. The event is there to bring out the community, of course, to come and explore the arts. And there are so many methods of transportation in downtown. We're actually ranked number one in the state of Florida. With between the Metro Mover, the free trolleys, you know, you can explore it all. Mm -hmm. And 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 continue discussing. Well, I just wanted what to say. What are the things that you want everyone to come? Well, especially I, for you. Well, with the art experience, we're basically doing an activation within our company as a field trip, and I am urging any business owner who has a business in uh, South Florida to take the day out and come downtown, park your car at the Omni station somewhere, hop on the Metro Mover, take 10, five, six employees out, show them what the cultural, and families, anybody listen, take your family out. You know, we all work so hard. This is a free, the best thing is, Alicia, it's free. And and if I may, I yes. mean, if you, if you don't want to download the app and if you don't know where to start with the 200 events, come into the Miami Center for Architecture and Design, which is this year's information hub. There will be staff there that can help you and guide you through your personalized itinerary. And it's a beautiful building. Okay, our next segment, we're going to get out from this segment. Our next segment is about you. There's millions of people in Austria. Why you to come to Miami and actually share your experience here? We'll be right back after these important messages. Susanna Baker with our talk. Sonia Bogensberger with the Miami DBA. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're back with our talk on the Money Man. I'm Susanna Baker. And we have the lovely Sonia Bogensberger here from the Downtown Development Authority. And Alicia Frischberg, you had a question at the during the intermission and i think it is interesting what you were asking it so takes a human being to actually take a level project to a higher level and and you are part of that there's so many people in austria why you why you have to come to miami miami must have done a calling and how did you get to miami how did i come here right. um Basically, 20 years ago, I decided that I wanted to gain some experience abroad, and I applied to many different companies, and one company hired me, and they called me, and I didn't know where they were going to send me, and they called me up, and they said, Sonia, you're going to go to Miami, and I was amazed, right? I mean, think about it. This was 20 years ago. Miami Vice was fresh in my mind, by the way. Yes. Um, Ocean Drive, Miami was a very different city, and... Um, here I was, landing in Miami 20 years ago with all the glamour that Miami Vice was still in my mind and my, you know, in my thoughts. And, and um, arrived and entered the hotel and in the beginning was, Miami was actually- Culture shock. Culture shock, yes, that is the word. Miami was in some ways everything that I expected and nothing that I expected. <laughs> and um, uh, it, I must say, it, the first few months were rough. And if it hadn't been for a six-month contract and a very stubborn Austrian that said, I'm not going to fly back home, um, I, I, it, it, was, it was on my mind. Um, but then there came the moment where all of a sudden loved walking across the street to this little Cuban coffee shop and have a colada in the morning. Ah, there's always a Cuban ah. thing in there. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. going. That coffee does get you. Yeah, oh, I it, tell it you. certainly does, yeah. I, when I go visit my family up in Fort Lauderdale, they say, oh, let's go get a cup of coffee. Are you kidding me? I mean, there's no coffee in Fort Lauderdale. Sorry, guys. But, you know, <laughs> I just love that colada. You get yes. so used to it. But what was the niche? What was the turning point that you realized this is it? This is where I really can see me leaving a legacy or creating one. Wow, that's 
That, that's a big question, legacy question, huh? I think there were multiple things, right? So I did leave Miami in between. So I lived in London, I lived in, and I come from Salzburg originally. And coming back to Miami, I entered the real estate um, cycle, the last real estate cycle. I worked in real estate development. I, th I saw what was happening in transforming the city. And coming from Salzburg, we have, and from Austria, there is a certain privilege with an older city. Culture is not separate from us. It's part of the upbringing. It's, it's part of the genes of, of, of walking around in an older city, right? Miami is 115 years old. So I saw that there was an enormous amount of potential in Miami that um, could be fostered. And that was actually already there, waiting to just be uncovered, right? Or discovered by the people that live here more than anything. And, and some, of course, the tourists and visitors. And I think that, you know, sometimes it needs someone to come from the outside. I mean, Miami is, is a hub of all uh, it's a magic city full of so many cultures, religions. I mean, everywhere you go, it segregates itself, too. Like, you're, these are generalities, but they're somewhat true. If you're coming to Miami for the first time, and this is a city that gives the first home in the Americas, you know, if you're Venezuelan, you go to Doral. If you're Cuban, you go to Hialeah, you go to Little Havana. If you're Russian, you go to Sunny Isles. If you're Puerto Rican, you go to Wynwood. So what happens? What happens is that you get all these fabulous districts with mm -hmm. Russian menus and, and Cuban coffee and just a city mixed with fabulous values that come from all walks of life, especially the crossroads of the Caribbeans to the islands. So having a fabulous uh, dynamic guest from Austria that made Miami their home and fought this wonderful century-old tradition of culture into our hub of of creating this downtown urban art cultural scene, I think I'm so lucky to be where I'm at. Mm -hmm. And I love Miami. And I love Miami because of people like you. Sonia Bergensberger, you keep doing what you're doing. You're fabulous in Downtown Development Authority. Miami's so lucky to have you. And I'm really feeling blessed seeing the growth every year when you come on the show. Those flyers, those inserts get bigger and bigger and bigger because that's how you build relationships, which are the most important. And with that said, I'm Susanna Baker, and I want you to say, Sonia, one more time, what, where can people reach out to know more about this wonderful event, Art Days? So two ways to get started. One is online at dwntwnarts.com or come and, and meet us at directly, the staff of Art Days, at the Miami Center for Architecture and Design at 100 Northeast First Avenue in downtown Miami. Mm -hmm. I think we could also hyperlink. If you send me this insert, I'll hyperlink it on my website. So if people want to go to theartexperiences.com, which is might be easier for someone driving, yep. theartexperiences.com, find the hyperlink on the homepage right there, link onto that, and you'll go right into their site. Mm -hmm. I'm Susanna Baker with The Art Experience. See you next Tuesday. I'm Alicia Frischberg. Come to Miami. And Sonia Bogensberger. Downtown, Downtown Art Days. Days. Downtown Don't Art miss Days it. Coming. February 19th through Sunday the 21st, and also a whole bunch of art nights as well. Okay, signing off.